What is up everybody, I'm Express here, and today I'm going to be showing to you guys how to kill streaks for yourself and what kill streaks are good, and how to set up your kill classes in case you're wondering how to get up onto those higher kill streaks. So this is basically, I'm going to show you guys like a couple of setups that I like to use, and then why I use them. So basically like how that makes it a better kill streak, and basically how they build onto each other. So the basic kill streak setup that they give you right off the bat in this game is UAV, Lightning Strike, and then Dragon Fire. And this is good and all, so when you get your UAV, you can kind of run around and get you a bunch of kills and stuff like that. And then you get your Lightning Strike, and you get a couple kills out of that, maybe three or four kills. And then you get a few more kills, and you get your Dragon Fire. But then the Dragon Fire, when you use it, it actually is not that good, because it can be shot down within, with like a clip, an SMG. And crazy for how high now it's it's up on there it's like it's 975 which is actually a lot of points so I definitely don't recommend putting on the dragon fire at all because that thing gets shot down really easily but it can get you a, it depends on what kind of game you're in if you're in the game with a bunch of Christmas noobs then you could probably put it on if not then don't but I wouldn't recommend putting that on at all Instead, after you get your lightning strike, I recommend putting on sentry gun because sentry guns can actually do a lot of work. And recently, they made it so you have to go up and shoot the sentry gun instead of knifing it, which definitely changed this game a lot. Where, in the fact that sentry guns, like you can't go up behind them and knife them, so you have to spend your time shooting at them. So you can kind of like be a real defensive person around this sentry gun and make sure that no one can shoot your sentry gun because sentry go and sway back and forth and then they'll like shoot the crap out of anyone in their path like they even go back to sway and then like laser at them so centers are definitely a really good kill streak to use and if you don't want to use this kill streak setup then I definitely recommend putting on if you're one of those guys that are trying to do like a higher kind of kill streak kind of thing going on then I recommend putting on orbital VSAT is your first kill streak and then whatever kill streaks you're going for. I recently got a game that I'll be showing to you guys where I got an orbital VSAT and then I got a load star and a warship. So I want to show that game play to you guys tomorrow. So that'll be a really awesome gameplay to watch because I was using a, uh, a raw FAL. So that was pretty sick. So that's going to be up tomorrow. And there's a lot of people if you're going 100 plus games and stuff that I recommend putting on the orbital VSAT and then, but I don't have them unlocked yet, putting on the K9 unit in the swarm. Those are definitely going to be your top kill streaks, and also when you're using them, when you're using the K9 unit and the swarm on there, after you get your orbital VSAT and you get all those kills and you get up to your K9 unit and then you get your swarm, I definitely don't recommend putting in the K9 unit and the swarm at the same time. So use your K9 unit, wait for all your dogs to leave the area, and then I definitely recommend calling in swarm, and then that like doubles the amount of kills because if those dogs are in there at the same time as those the swarms are in there then they're like stealing each other's kills kind of so it's kind of like steal and take kind of thing so don't put those in at the same time for a better result of amount of kills and the next kill streak setup I want to show you guys starts off with lightning strike stealth chopper and then either Vito warship or loadstar now I've been loadstar because for some reason warships get taken down really easily for some reason like a lot easier to see people when the loadstar so I definitely recommend putting on the loadstar because you rotate around the map so you're not like stuck in one area and you can like fire at different spots instead of the warship where you're just in one spot and you're trying to fire at people and I definitely just think that the Lodestar is giant reaper bullet helps you kill a lot of people like and it's so fast the way it comes down so it's definitely a great way to get a lot of kills I got like 20 plus kills in in the gameplay that I got today so it's gonna be great for you guys to see that and the last kill streak setup that I wanted to show to you guys today was going to be UAV, Lightning Strike, and then Stealth Chopper. And this is for those people that don't want to use Dragon Fire so, or the Sentry Gun. So I definitely recommend putting on the Stealth Chopper. It gives you something to go for, it actually. And it's actually a good kill streak. It'll give you 25 points per kill. And it does mad work if it's in the spawn of the enemy. So I definitely recommend putting on the Stealth Chopper. So... That's pretty much this video, guys. I hope you like this. Ideas of setting up streaks, the best score streaks, I think, that are out there. So please remember to like and subscribe. Comment if you want to. This is X Preston signing off. See you guys later.